look, my boy, mi raza. Welcome back to my brand new video. Don't mind my glasses, by the way, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys a quick, funny little story. The reason why I bring up these glasses real quick is because I literally just found them in one of my kids' um, Easter baskets that my sisters did for my kids. But my sisters are so extra sometimes. I don't know which one did it, but they literally gave my son these freaking humongous ass glasses. They're actual like grown up glasses, you know? And I don't know what goes to the head when they do stuff like this. Do they just expect these big old glasses to fit my my son? My son literally just turned 10 months. Yes, I know that's crazy, right? Time is not, time is definitely not a friend. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. You know, I just wanted to, uh, I just want to tell you guys that quick little story because I brought up the whole glasses situation. But yeah, I did something, or we did something really, really horrible. Probably the worst thing I could have ever done to my, uh, to one of my trucks. I'm not going to go ahead um, and spoil it just yet. And I'm also not going to go ahead and tell you guys what truck, you know. But real quick, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a job site where we're going to be working with, uh, with my parents. My sister's going to hate me for this because she doesn't like me to record her. Whenever she's not ready. I'm sorry, sis, but I have to throw you under the bus because this is super, super funny. She already gets paid to just sit there. So check it out. This is a job site. Pretty much, we're not going to be cutting trees, though. We are doing uh, landscaping. This is the before. This is how it looks like. Pretty much just nasty, ugly weeds. And we are going to be... Uh, Cleaning this up, laying whatever it's called that stops the weeds from going, that one paper. And then we're gonna be putting rocks, a certain type of rock. Di hola, ma. Hola. Tienen que vayan a ver el, el, el video, full video en tu canal. Porque oh. este nomás es, nomás los malos estoy enseñando poquito. Oh, vayan a ver el video en... Canal de ustedes. En el canal de nosotros. Ahí vamos a poner todo contenido que vamos a hacer. And my dad's over there. He has this. He has this proteína hidden. We get mad at him for drinking it, but. See, I just got here. My parents came here since the morning, but I had a couple of things errands to run. So my parents already pretty much did this half. And we just got to do that. And then we're doing this side as well. I believe these are stained though. These are stained. Yeah, all of this has to get cleaned up. Check it out. So I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the after because I'm um, um, because this vlog is gonna go up and this is gonna take a lot of days to finish. But you guys can go ahead and check it out on my parents' channel, like I just said. And also look at or uh you guys recognize that house? It's my sister Fabi's house. And same thing, we did this this work here. My sister's father's house used to look exactly how I just showed you guys, messy. But we came on some free time and we did this. You know, we laid she wanted rock here and then uh, we put the artificial grass. And we recently just did the other side of the house. My sister's probably watching me through her camera. I was like, what is, what is my brother doing? We recently just did this. We just extended her driveway. This was already here when uh, when they bought the house. We did that. We extended the driveway here when we did all that. And then it was like a, about a year pause. And then we just did this, I wanna say maybe about two weeks ago. So we extended the driveway. And then same thing here. She wanted the same type of rock as the other side, which you guys can see right here. And then she wanted, she had a little bit of uh, artificial grass left and she wanted to put it on this side so we went ahead and um and did that but this literally used to look like the front neighbor and the front neighbor contacted us because he liked what we did here at my sister's house shout out to my pops for making it happen at my sister's house and now the front neighbors so let's go back over there to start working okay so as you guys can see we're pretty much we finished the first the first uh segment i guess you could say and we actually got it done pretty quick. We got more help. So I guess we got the whole family out here. My little, uh, my little nephew. Check him out. Say hi, Max. <laughs> <laughs> this is 
this challenge. And then uh, my sister, my sister's own boy, Kirsten Sampu. But I'm going to my sister and Marie. I don't know if you know her. She's my mom, my dad still. And my little sister's hopping is too. Must go right now. She's behind the camera. Angel. She got you working? Pretty much whenever we all have free time or whatever, um, we, we come help out my parents. So we just need this little piece right here. But you guys saw, you guys saw how uh, messy it was. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something satisfying. So check it out. It looks easy, right? But this is pretty much what's happening. You just go like this and you just pull, but you have to grab it from the very, very bottom. Because if not, you're just going to break it and it's going to grow again. So you have to pull it actually from the roots. But it is a lot of work. We're just we're just so used to it that it's common for us, you know. But I promise you guys, if somebody who's not used to it would come try this, it would take them a lot more time. See, we just go like this. Shake it, knock the dirt off, and then you just keep moving. At first, it's kind of hard to get used to it, but once you get used to it, and you're going to be fast. And you just go. You just go. Go with the flow. You know, and my sister Fabi just gave us a call that she's it, she is on her way with some with some beers. So I'm trying to finish this so we don't drink on the job site. But it was you guys get the point. This this client is my sister's front neighbor. He's a good guy. He's nice. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how how this is done. We do everything by hand. Come in. I'll see if I see. Thank you, John. John and Fabi. Bueno, pues mi raza, aquí sigamos con el vlog. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you know, um, I wish I didn't have to record this video, but you guys can only imagine what the hell we did. To my truck. I'm telling you guys, I have the worst luck. Si no me chocan, choco, se me ponchan las llantas, se me truena um, la transmisión, y ahorita se me tronó la, se me tronó el pinche motor. So por falta de esto, because of this, we freaking pretty much um, the motor is done on this truck. And the worst part is that I have the worst luck because literally this this truck is pretty much complete. You know, we got the interior, we threw all the wheels. Up next, we're just gonna go ahead and slam the front a little bit, but boom, freaking motor decides to, to leave the chat. And don't worry, the giveaway it still is going on. At the end of this month, we are gonna be having a winner. And if the winner does wanna go ahead and choose this truck, the good thing is I, I did mention it before, um, whoever chooses this truck, it will come with a $5,000 cash price. So you guys can pay for that swap. So I kinda just, I guess you could say I manifested it because, or maybe yo solito me chela sal because I, I don't like to own these sixes, you know? So maybe you go solito me chela sal, pero with that being said, if you guys want to choose this truck, it will come with $5,000, and I'll still go ahead and uh, take it to you guys, wherever you guys want. And then with the $5,000, hopefully you guys can build yourself a badass motor and throw it on here. So what we ended up doing is we freaking drove this truck without oil. Ever since I bought it from my cousin about a year ago, I pretty much never did an oil change for two reasons. One, because it's a V6, you know, I kind of just, I would tell my friends, everybody, you know what, as soon as the, the motor blows, I'm gonna go ahead and just swap it. But uh, little did I know that I was thinking to myself, you know, that, that really is what happened. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys right now. It still does start and run, but I know that this thing, no me va a durar. So right now I just, I'm not even using it too much because I don't want it to be me stranded. So pretty much, hopefully in the next vlogs, uh, whenever we get our new house, hopefully we are gonna be doing an engine swap. Um, if you guys don't choose it, if you guys choose it, then uh, I will be delivering it to you guys. So let me go ahead and turn on this, this truck. And we already went ahead and, and threw a couple of quarts of oil in it. But it still, it still didn't help it. It's pretty much gone. I'm really embarrassed to show you guys this, but just listen to this. Thousand dollars, and if not, 
This is gonna be the truck where I'm gonna throw a badass engine in there. So if you guys don't take it, I'm throwing a 6.2 in here. We're gonna, we're gonna give it all. It's, it's the OG 2.0 for a reason. But yeah, that's what happens when you forget to put oil in your cars. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off real quick. And guys, the reason why I didn't do the Origin is because it was a V6. And, and I had no idea that the truck didn't have uh, any oil in it. So I pretty much made confia in other palabras, you know. But like I said, I'm not stressing it at all. I'm not even stressing a single bit. Just because it's V6. If it was, if it was a freaking V8 in there, I would have been pissed, you know. But that's kind of why I didn't do the oil change. Because I was like, you know what? That was the least of my worries. I, I pretty much thought the, the oil had, uh, the truck had oil. But it makes sense why it didn't. You know, this truck was sitting for a long, long time. And I mean years when my cousin had it, you know. Uh, it's part of the game. So I just want to let you guys know that the engine uh, is pretty much done. So we can be on the same page. So hopefully in the next videos we will uh, build this motherfucker up. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment what do you guys think. Make sure you guys check out my parents' channel. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the links down in the description below. And you get to see it there as well. Don't forget to subscribe to see um, what's going to happen with this truck. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. We have brought the truck out for a cruise, a final cruise, and look at this. Damn. Hidden. Help us, little cuz. Help us, little cuz. We need you guys' help. Push us. Hell yeah. We got all the little cuz helping us. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys, bro. Thank you guys. Okay, yeah, little cuz came in clash, huh? Thank you guys, bro. I really appreciate it. Great cap. It fell out? Yeah, it's right over there. Okay. Ah. I'm coming to go check it out. Man, honestly, we had already finished the video. And and this wasn't planned. You know, we, we just decided to take a cruise, enjoy the loud system. And then everything happened off camera. Man, look. The hood is just active. They just pulled homeboy over. And guys, on the side of the shoe, we found a... Oh, se todo lo de abajo. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're taking this as a souvenir. But yeah, I feel really, really bad, man. Look at the mess we did on the street. Man, oh man. Look at this. So up there, we were pretty much just waiting. The Cayera. La tarde, so we can go ahead and push this truck. It's literally down the street from El Compalado South, so it's not too far. You know, va a tardar más la grúa en llevársela que en what we're gonna tardar in pushing, you know? But we are gonna be doing some Mexican jackass type thingy majigger to do it. We're not literally just gonna push it like that. Hopefully we don't die. You don't know más. Time to push it. We got green light, green light. Let's go, ready, let's go. Aquí vinemos. Hopefully we don't die. Check out this tactic. Huh? You don't go vinemos. You don't más. You don't más, mi Lalo. You don't mi Lalo como. Compasiva, chala vieja. Es todo, mi Lalo. <laughs> Man, look at this. I don't know where my compa Lalo found this. This is not a this is not something you find on TikTok hacks. <laughs> it's only a three-man job. Just a reminder, this is being filmed in Mexico. Do not try this at home or nowhere in the US. We caught some real compas right here. I'm just careful not to lose his legs, but. As you guys can see, the truck is back to where it started, safe and sound. Ahora sí, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.